Hello? So we are back. Same Thursday. We just finished to fix this power supply, remember? I replaced the capacitors, yeah. You remember, we, we, we found the blow-up capacitor. And after that I closed the video, I replaced the, the you know, the capacitor which I found it with the bump. So we, we put the power supply back. It's working fine, yeah, we can test it. Yeah, let's go and diagnose some, some desktop problems. A lot of people ask about desktop issues, yeah? Let's plug again the tester and let's check. Just to be sure, yeah, just to eliminate the power supply from the from the picture, yeah. That's our tester. Pressing the button. If it's something wrong, you will see red light. L let's take out the power cable. You understand. Take out the power cable. And it's going it's going kind of red. But this power supply is good. You see? But anyway, this power supply is good because that's what this tester is doing. It's testing the power supply. Of course I trust the tester. What do you mean? Yeah? So the power supply is fine. Okay? Good. That's great. Let's plug the cable on the motherboard. Because they sent me. The power supply actually in this computer is from the other shop. Yeah? And they, I sent back the power supply, and they sent me back the computer. I say, look, we put the power supply in, and it's not working. It's not coming on. So I said, okay, okay, let's have a look. So let me plug the, the cable. The cable is plugged. Do you see that L LEDs from there? You can see the LEDs. Hopefully you can see them. Yeah, so now, now it's fine. Pressing the power button. And it is coming on. The fan starts spinning. Yeah. Now it's working. But sometimes it's not working. Yeah. So let's try to find out exactly what happened when it's not working. Now the, 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 the power supply cable is plugged in and it's not working. Trust me, it is plugged in. You see the cable is plugged in. Now we have no LEDs, yeah, like it's no voltage. You can see. Now, for what we know, we we must have five volts, which is a standby. You know that small power supply. You must have five volts there. So even if the lab, the computer uh, is off, you should have five volts. So let's check together. Multimeter volts. Maybe you'll have this case. Yeah, that's why I'm doing this video. So should be on the purple wire. So check on the multimeter. Yeah, check. 4.9. It is 4.9. 4.990. We can say 5 volts. Yeah. Now the wire which is making the board to come on. So actually you short the, the green wire to ground and the power supply start working. On the green wire. We do have 4.8, which is normal because it's pulled out by a resistor. If we are shorting the ground, yeah, that's the way how you force a power supply to come on, yeah? So you short the green wire with the ground. And you can see, you see the LEDs there are on. Hopefully you can see them. So now the fan is spinning. Yeah, you can hear the fan. We have one LED on there. Yeah, that one, yeah. I took out this and it's still on. The computer is still on. The fan is spinning. It's still on. You can see the LED there. Let's unplug the power. So now the power is unplugged. I'll plug back the cable. Again, it's no light there. So how this is possible? You, you see, these are, are some... These are cases when this, this can drive you crazy, you know, one time it's working, the second time it's not working. So actually if I start manual, yeah, manual, green wire to the ground, so actually you short a wire here on the power supply, and that wire will start the 12 volts and the 5 volts power supply, you know, the big one, the high amperage one, yeah, shorting the green with black, and you can see the LED, 
Hopefully you can see them. Yeah? And you can hear the fan. Yeah? So now it's working. Taking is this out, yeah? Now it's working. Now it's on. We have the LED on. This is, you know, it's, 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 it's mad. So if I unplug the power supply again, the cable is out. Obviously the LED goes off. Plugging back the power cable. And it's not working. You can press the power button, yeah. And we have no LED. That's the, that's the issue. We have no light there. Nothing. The fan is not spinning. It's dead. Checking again with the multimeter. Do we have 5 volts coming from the power supply? The standby one. Do we have 5 volts? Let's see. The purple wire to the ground. We have 5 volts. 4.993. Yeah? So that's the thing. So I have 5 volts on the motherboard. Which is going to the Super I.O. Yeah? What the Super I.O. is doing. Now the Super I.O. has 5 volts. Right? When I press the power button. The Super I.O will short this signal from the from the green wire to ground and the power supply will start uh, supplying the 12 volts and the 5 volts yeah from these wires yeah power i think it's 3.3 .3 and it's two more yeah so what do you think it is obviously it's very obviously yeah it's very obvious it's looking like a motherboard fault from the simple reason we have 5 volts, the power supply is supplying the 5 volts standby voltage to the Super I.O. But the Super I.O., when I press the power button, is not shorting the green wire to ground for the power supply to start. It's only one problem. One problem is, it's hard to believe you can have 2 volts there. So, what do you mean? We have a we did had a, a power supply issue that shorted capacitor on the primary, yeah. And now it's a motherboard issue. This is hard to believe. So what I did, I did. You know what? Or what? What is supposed? I check. You know, I checked each power rail because that's what I'm doing. I'm taking the power supply five volts, supplying five volts on the you know this hard drive connector, the normal, yeah, supplying five volts. Okay, no shorted. Good. Supplying 12 volts. Okay, no shorted. Good. Let's go further. And if we check the 5 volts, I, I ignore that thing, yeah? Yeah, again, it's 4.9 something. Come on. Just please stay there. 4.953 I say you know what I don't care I will supply power with my power supply yeah so let's take the power supply ground you can use ground from anywhere ground here supplying 5 volts 5.1 and look at the LEDs you can see the LEDs come on let's press the power button and it's coming on you can hear the fan So, now I can take this out and it's still working. So please, tell me what is the issue here. Huh? What do you think? So actually, the, the, the motherboard didn't like the 5 volts from the power supply, but it is liking my 5 volts from my power supply. So what's the problem? Hmm? What's the problem? Because, you know, this... this this it is insane. You can search for a fault like that a lot of time, especially when you don't have spares. Like, let's check with another power supply. Yeah, that's a case. Plugging back the power cable. Now the power cable is plugged. Yeah, we have no light. Yeah, so check when I supplying five volts from my power supply. Yeah, five volts here. Look at the LEDs. Yeah. LEDs are on now. You can see them. So I don't get it. Why the, the motherboard doesn't like the 5 volts from here, but it is liking the 5 volts from my power supply? Because that, that's, that's a good question. 
you'll get a very simple uh, answer if you have our oscilloscope but I don't have right now I have a digital one but it's not installed on the computer but that's a case when actually you have a dry capacitor inside of the power supply yeah that's that's that, that, that's the point which I want to reach yeah so that's how you find out actually you have a problem with a capacitor and that's 5 volts which the power supply is you know the tester is saying yeah the 5 volts is fine no it's not the multimeter is saying the 5 volts is fine no it's not yeah so actually that 5 volts are a lot of spikes yeah it's like a fake 5 volts actually it's not 5 volts are some spikes spikes up to 5 volts yeah that's what the capacitors are meant to do to equalize you know the spikes and make it straight like a line yeah so probably I missed I had to replace the capacitor that's clear I missed to replace the capacitor and if you thought sorry what about now we can try with a capacitor see if you are right maybe you are wrong yeah we can try so plugging back the cable now it's working now is that point when the actually it is working let's unplug it and plug it a few times okay now it's not working so look at the LEDs I try to make sure those you see yeah, LEDs are off let's get some capacitors and connect the capacitor between the purple one and black so minus and plus look at the LEDs you can see them how can I do it? Hopefully you can see. Maybe if I bring the camera more on my front. Yeah, maybe like that. From this angle. Now we're on, obviously. Let me unplug. Plug back. Unplug. Okay. Plug back. So now the LEDs you know what, are not even off, are like slightly, like a little bit of light there. Hopefully you can see them. You can see the LEDs? Now I'll take the capacitor, ground and the purple wire, yeah? So check the LEDs, yeah? You can see the LEDs, they comes on nicely. Now pressing the power button, now the computer is coming on. So that's the thing, how you can check if actually you have dry capacitors here. You can check them here, yeah? So you can come with a capacitor on which line do you want. You, it, on my case, is the 5 volt standby line. But you can come even on 12 volts, on, on 5 volts, yeah? And you can straight the current here on the input of the, of the, of the motherboard, okay? So I'll stop this video because it's nearly to go home. Obviously, I will open the power supply. I will replace that. I probably I miss a capacitor, and I think I know which I miss it. I mean, it was a board on the, on a side with a small transformer, and was a fat capacitor there. And I said it on the video. Look, even this, I forgot to replace that one. Yeah, but that's how you identify a problem. Even if if tester is saying the power supply is good, even if the multimeter is saying the power supply is good, but actually it is a problem. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.